Canning, BodybuildingPro.com. We are here at the 2013 LA Fit Expo here in Los Angeles, California, here at the Chanston Water Booth, here with Dan Hill, German bodybuilder. We've spoke before, Dan, and uh, it's always nice to see you. But I wanted to talk to you a little bit about your work with Chanston Water, but before starting with that, I, uh, or before going to that, I wanted to first ask you a little bit about your MMA videos. I've seen them on the internet, and uh, you know, it looks like it's something that you like to do. So tell us a little bit about your uh, practice with MMA fighting. Yeah, I mean, uh, it was time for me to do a change, search for a new new task. I enjoy bodybuilding. I love it. It opened all the doors for me. I mean, here, here in America, living the life, living in Vegas, and the fight capital of the world, I would say. So I'm really enjoying a new sport and a new adventure. And I mean, I always, I don't want to never say never, and I might come back to bodybuilding one day. But right now, I put my focus on pro fighting, um, having a pro training camp together with my coaches, Dewey Cooper, who is a multiple K1 world champion, um, Robert Navon, uh, David Howard, Jiu Jitsu under John Lewis, and um, J.R. Ganuso, who's doing, he's a pro wrestler and he's doing my wrestling coaching right now. So I'm enjoying the new functional training, being a true athlete, and, you know, beating up my body in a different way, I would say, and enjoying the new journey. Now your body, uh, your height is probably good for, for fighting, but now your body weight, you've been up to 290 pounds. Uh, does that help or does that hurt you in fighting? Um, I don't think it is, n it is not uh, a handicap for it. I mean, I was definitely w in that condition that I'm right now, um, off season, I would have been 285 as a bodybuilder, but now um, training at 255, 260 pounds, I'm right at the weight limit. I mean, 265 is the limit for fighting. so. That is a perfect thing, and I'm definitely much stronger than the other fighters, so now it comes down to getting my cardio up and, of course, getting the technique down. And once these things will be there, I'm excited to see how the fights go. Now, Dan, you're going to be much stronger than the other guys, no matter what you weigh, I'm sure. So uh, what would your ideal body weight be for fighting? Um, the ideal body weight, I would say, is still... I would say pretty much max out the, the weight division. I mean, um, if I'm at 245, or between 245 to 65, anything is good. Um, I don't want to focus too much on the weight. Whatever it is, I take it. I mean, I, I still have the same muscle that most people misunderstand. Muscle is never never really lost. You, you lose the volume in it, but that's the reason why you can change so much of physique within a matter of a few months. Your body will remember how to get back there. Absolutely. I mean, Kevin Lerone did it, and I, I can say, even if I was not that popular last year, but um, in a matter of four months, I brought myself from almost zero condition to, fin uh, to the Finland Pro Show and the Nordic Pro, and I placed in a top ten. So what more can I ask in four months? And I know I can do it again. So uh, it's, um, it's a, it's a new, new journey, and I don't think... Even for bodybuilding, it will not be a handicap. Let's say I'm, I'm 26 now. If I decide at 36 to go back to bodybuilding, that's still an option. And within a matter of a couple months, I can come back and eventually even come back better because now I train my muscles for uh, a whole different type of training. So I stimulate another kind of muscle fibers that never been used before. To get two, two top 10 bodybuilding finishes in the past year, very good, uh, very good result. Uh, Dan, as for body fat for fighting, how's that? Uh, is it nice? Is it good to be a bit softer, or, or uh, is it better to be leaner? Um, that is a. Uh, you see the most fighters being totally lean, but which is mostly the the reason because they just have to push themselves in the weight division. So, I mean, in my division, um, let's say I would be in a. My contest weight at the Nordic Pro was 255, of course, uh, with a full 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 amount of carbs loaded so I would say probably at 240 I would be in um, in a very very lean condition and I think with 240 to add 10 pounds of body fat for fighting is not bad since um, the body fat will help a little bit on taking the pain away <laughs> mm -hmm.